hello guys welcome back to architectural world in today's episode we're going to be learning how to create slant roof let me show you this is what we're going to be learning how to do today we're going to be learning how to create this roof plan this is a slant roof plan with a, a 600 millimeter push out so this one what we're going to be learning how to create today so in case you have not subscribed to our channel please kindly subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out our amazing classes so if you observe this roof very well you can see that this roof is higher than this roof and this is higher than this and this particular roof is like a flat roof so we're going to use slab on this then we we'll use roof on this and roof on this so let me make another zoom of it very well let me create a zoom so you're going to see what we're talking about here okay okay now if you see very well from this wall down to this spot you can see that we have close to 600 millimeter that's 600 millimeter you can see we have the same 600 millimeter here then we have about 300 millimeter here then we have about 600 millimeter here so let's quickly dive into it okay so now these are our, our plan this is our plan let me go on our 3d this is our plan and i'm using archicad 18 you can use archicad 22 16 or whatever is the same settings so these are our plan right now i'm already true with the modeling i'm true with the modeling so what's next now is for us to roof it first we're gonna roof this we're gonna roof this first one first so let's go to stories i'll come to my stories I prefer I prefer the first thing we need to create here is we have this done here already and we have this done here already so I'm gonna roof this section I'll come down to my slab I prefer to use slab on this because it's a flat roof so I'm gonna use slab on this I'll go down to my settings go down to my settings I'll, I'll make it 100 millimeter I'm okay with that the offset to height I'm gonna choose the the slab thickness offset that from the ground so the level I want on my 3D. So I'm just gonna put two meter here. Then we're gonna put two thousand here. Then I'll go for my modeling. I'll go for my modeling under. I'll go to top. This is the top. The top I'm gonna to take roof plan. Let's say uh roof ties French brand is okay. Then the edge. This is the edge. I want the edge to be on white. So I'm gonna choose white rough. I'll come down to the under. I'll choose silly on this silly okay I'll click okay come down to this spot where i want to place it so i'm going to activate my different type of roof section i'll click the spot where i want to place the roof so you're just going to make sure that you select the exact spots you want to place your roof that's what you need to select the exact spot so i'm just going to pick it here i'll come down to this spot okay i'll pick it here this spot okay yeah then i'll come back to the first my starting point okay i got it let's see it on 3d 3d you can see this is what we just created on 3d so i'm going to elevate it from here so i come down to the spot this is the height so i change it to three that's three thousand let's see the possibility okay okay not bad so I prefer we we'll go for 3.2 meter. Let's see what we got. 3.2 meter is too high. So let's go for 3.1 meter. 3.1 meter. Oh, too high. Let's go for 305. 305. 305. Okay, still too much. So I guess the 3 meter is okay on this. 3 meter. Okay, perfect. You see? So we now have the first slab. This is the first slab. This is the first roof slab. This is the first roof slab. You can see it very well. This is the first roof slab. So, and if you check the 3D model that I did, the 3D model that I did, you see that there is a, a slab here and there's another roof here that has the same model with the, the block wall. That's the wall of the building. Let me reduce it. You can see that the, the edge of the final roof is having the same, the same modeling with the, with the building itself. So I'll come down to I'll come down to this spot again. I'll copy this stuff. I'll copy this stuff. I'll copy or press my control D, control plus. I'll copy. I'll move this 100. I'll move this to 100. Okay. 
then I'll go down to my settings come down to my settings I'll choose the edge because I'm working with the edge so I'm going to choose the edge to be dark gray so it corresponds with what I'm doing okay let's see let's see okay now you can see that my job is done accordingly I have this particular stuff in the sense in, in a situation whereby you want to use two colors two modeling on this part of roofs you just have to know that you're introducing two slabs or two roof plan on it so I just introduced two slab on it and that's the reason why you see that I have what I want like that of my 3d you can see I have the white on that then I have this on the top so now the major one now is how to create this so let's create this plan I'll come down to my story setting I'll come down to my story setting so what i need right now is 600 i need uh, a distance of 600 all throughout the spot so i'm going to create a line guide i'm going to create a line guide i'll create a line guide i'll come this way i'll put it 600 okay a line guide of 600 oh, install it here then i'll come down to this edge okay i'll bring i'm going to delete all this guide i'm just trying to create a good guide so i'll come down to this spot and take 600 then i'll bring it to this spot okay straight up okay then i'll come down to this spot activate this to get a straight line then i'll come down to this spot give a command of 600 then down to the spot down to the spot okay so now what i really need now is from this angle from this angle down to this angle done so i'll come down to the next one i still want this 600 to fly from this part so i'll bring it to this part I'll bring it to this part okay or well, let's solve the first roof plan first let's solve this so we don't get confused let's yeah so the next thing we're going to do now we're using the real roof plan setting that's what we are using right now the real roof plan setting please don't forget to subscribe to our channel we have amazing class for you so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go to my roof i'll click my roof here then i'll go to the setting dialog box i'll go to the setting dialog box then i'll come down to this i'm using single plane i'm using single plane roof so i'm going to activate this then i think i'm okay with 100 the height will be determined from the 3d elevation i always like determine the height from this but let me just say i could just say let me go with this i could change this to to four five five zero it's all depend on what you're designing it's all depend on what you're designing so i'll go to my modeling first i want to create the first ground floor roof the one that has this let me show you i'm creating this first one this is the first one I'm creating. So the first setting I gave from the, the slab is similar to this. So I'm going to activate this. I'll come down to this spot. I'll come down to this spot. I'll click this. Then I'll come down to this spot. I'll click. It means I want the roof to raise towards that side. So I'm just going to take this off. Then bring it to the, the lines. Then let's see it on 3D and see if it's going properly. Okay. You can see we have it on our 3D properly the way we want it. You can see it very well. So what we need to do now is for us to, from this angle, create out the elevation that we want. Give it the appropriate height. Whatever you're doing things like this, always use your 3D to determine the final height. So I'll come down to the spot. I'll increase the button. Let's say I'll give it to 300. Let's see. Still not enough. 300 let's see it let's rotate and see okay okay 300 300 let me see what i got here before okay i think 300 is cool 300 is cool you can see it very well 300 is cool so now now the next thing the next thing i'm gonna do the next thing i'm gonna do now after having the 300 the next thing i'm gonna do if you check very well you see that this my roof slab isn't parallel with this so i'm going to select this roof then i'll select this along select this along take this along take this along take this then i'll come to this part trim elements to roof shell 
then I'll turn it on, trim it. You can see now my roof is going on one. The reason why you see that this one and this is not the same is because I use fresh air, then I choose. So I'll go back to the spot, then I'll take the same material. I'll take the same material. Okay, I'll come down here. I got it now. So now the next thing I want now is to move, duplicate this roof. I have to duplicate this roof. I'll press my control D, control. Then I'll take this roof up to 100 millimeter. Okay. Then after doing that, I'll go to my settings. I'll change the the, the edge. I'll change the edge. I'll change the edge to dark gray. I'll change the edge to dark gray. Let's see it. Yes, dark gray. Let's look for it. Okay. Then activate. Perfect. So you can see now that creating a slanting roof is very easy because it's single roof. Quitting it is very easy. All you just need to do is follow the process. Once you go to the process, and that is all. You can see it very well. And these are the processes. You need to know where to accept the command. So that being done, now let's go for this last roof shell. I'll come down to my line. Don't forget, I'm always using the, the setting of 600 on it. So I'll come down to this spot. I'll bring this here. Okay. I'll come down to this spot. I'll bring this here okay then I'll come down here I'm trying to create a guide 600 I'll bring it to the spot okay so I'll come down to the spots come down here I'll create another guide here okay I'll come down the spot I'll go with 600 take it down to the spot come down here this automatically 600 because it was the previous one i was using so i'll go to my roof I'll go to my roof my selection is already in it's only the roof shell i'm going to change that's having the same front run so i have this now i'll come down to this port now the the point to pick is how you determine the elevation now i want this part i want this angle to be on the down side why this angle will be on the right the upper side so since you want this angle to be on the upper side you need to pick the down side the the point you want then click it here that's the elevation then i'll pick this part activate it so let's see what we just did now on 3d let's check it out perfect perfect you can see it very well you can see very well now the, the, this part this part now that is on the upper side is the the part that will click after selection so now what we need to do is to move it up come down to this spot you give the order from here let's give the real 400 you give your command based on what you're designing so you determine your height from this spot that's the reason why you see i didn't put command from the setting dialog I, you have to come to the 3d so you can be able to determine the, the best the best figure for your height you put in doing the input you'll be taking a proper observation if it is okay you can see if it is okay you'll be going through it if it is okay for you that is what you work with so you can see i have it done now so the next thing i'm going to do is to trim the elements i'm going to select all these elements i'll pick all of them okay i'll pick all i'll pick all then i'll pick the roof then i'll come down to my trim element to roof shell then i'll trim and that is all so the next thing now is for me to call, duplicate this roof i need to duplicate this roof you duplicate the roof now the secret of duplicating anything in 3d if you want to duplicate anything in 3d there is one thing you need to look for let me show you the moment you click and you move make sure there's a yellow arrow the arrow is yellow that means it's on a straight line but if the arrow is not yellow you are going off if the if this yellow arrow did not display don't let go it's not on a straight wall but if the arrow display it simply means you are on a straight wall so i'm going to put my input of 100 that's okay i'll come down to my setting i'll choose the the edge take my dark gray then activate then i think i'm good with it so you can see i just got it roofed this are to create a simple 
slant roof plan simple so in case you have not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe to our channel turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out our classes we have amazing class already so all you need to do is just go down to the page check the videos whatever you want whatever you want us to tutor whatever you want us to bring to your notice just let us know i'm going to treat it immediately thank you one love from architectural world